everybody welcome back today I'm taking a look at Super Puzzle Fighter 2X for matching service on the Dreamcast oddly enough there never was a Super Puzzle Fighter 1 this game was of course developed by Capcom and released in arcades in 1996 it was later ported to pretty much everything but this version was never released outside of Japan and it's worth playing for the features included in it that weren't included in any of the other console releases. This version of Puzzle Fighter includes three different ways to play, X mode, Y mode, and Z mode. X mode is basically the original Puzzle Fighter setup. As different colored gems fall from the top of the screen, you match them up by color, trying to make bigger and bigger stacks and get big combos when a crash gem of the same color finally makes its way down. The more gems you're able to take out at one time, the more counter gems you can dump onto your opponent's screen. Counter gems are blocks that can't be broken until they've counted down from a certain number, usually five, and the only way to get them to count down is to drop more gems. This is a very fun classic mode and the battle element adds some extra tension to the gameplay but it can be pretty frustrating waiting for the appropriately colored crash gem to finally show up, but it's still super fun. <laughs> the other two gameplay modes basically combine elements of Puzzle Fighter with other popular puzzle games. Y mode is essentially like playing a game of columns, except that at the start of each round there are a bunch of counter gems lining the bottom of the screen. Just match up three or more gems of the same color, either vertically or diagonally, to clear them from the screen, and just like in the X mode, you can drop more counter gems onto your opponent's screen, but in this mode you actually have a meter that builds up and allows you to choose when you'll drop your counter gems. I recently reviewed Sakura Wars Columns 2, also on the Dreamcast, and this mode is basically the exact same thing as that game. Z mode plays more or less like a game of Tetris Attack. You start each round with a number of gems on the screen, and you swap their positions around to match up gems of the same color. And when a crashed gem appears from the bottom of the screen, you'll need to maneuver it into place to clear some blocks away. But you have to be careful as the crash gem will be used immediately as soon as it touches a light colored gem, even if it's only one, so you could accidentally cost yourself some good combos. Also, instead of moving two blocks around as you would in Tetris Attack, you move gems around in multiples of four. You don't drop any counter gems on your opponent's screen in this mode, but the better you play, the faster their gems will ascend, so yeah. Basically, Tetris Attack with a bit of Puzzle Fighter mixed in, which is really fun. I really like the graphics and sound design in Super Puzzle Fighter 2. All of the character designs are chibi versions of Street Fighter and Darkstalkers characters. They're actually the same character designs from Pocket Fighter, which is another favorite of mine. And there are 10 characters in total to choose from. Again, with this being a puzzle game, you're going to be looking at the same basic screen a lot, but I like that the stages from the fighting games are included as backgrounds, and overall this is a very colorful game that's really pleasant to look at. You even get an illustration gallery to look through, which is nice. And you also get Showtime mode to look at, which is just some short animations featuring the game's characters, and they're pretty cool. The soundtrack is great too. It's basically music from the Street Fighter Alpha and Darkstalker series, remixed to better match the lighthearted tone of Puzzle Fighter. And I really like it. There's also some nice voice work and sound effects thrown in, and overall I think this is a pretty good looking and sounding game.
So while this particular version of Puzzle Fighter never got an international console release, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, which was released on PSN and Xbox Live in 2007, is basically the exact same game and includes all of the different play modes from this one. So if it's still available, I'd recommend giving it a try. Also, if you run into the original, either on PlayStation or the Sega Saturn, don't pass it up. This is one of my absolute favorite puzzle games, and I highly recommend it. Check it out.